Hi beauties, welcome to my channel, Make Me Beautiful. Um, today what we're going to be talking about is a foundation, well it's a lightweight foundation, it is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And this is going to be something that's lightweight, this is not going to be your full coverage or your Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation or anything like that. This is just a tinted gel cream. So it's going to give you a little bit of color um, and still let your skin show through. And for it's going to create a natural finish as well. Um, this has broad spectrum SPF 30 in it. And I'm going to read you a little bit what it says it does on the back. Um, this has marine botanicals to help hydrate and replenish thirsty skin. Um, it energizes skin with mineral electrolytes and it provides a non-chemical broad spectrum SPF 30. It's lightweight, sheer to medium coverage. So it's clinically tested. So, it's so. formulated without oil, silicone, parabens, and fragrance. So this type of, type of foundation is going to be um, something that it seems we may be able to build it up to about a medium coverage, but we're going to test all that out today and we're going to see what we can do with this Bare Minerals Tinted Gel Cream. Oh. First, I'm going to prime one side of my face and the other side I'm not going to prime. And I'm also going to apply this gel cream um, with a brush on one side and also a beauty blender on the other side. This is what the tube looks like. The chestnut number nine and it's about a medium size tube it may last you a little while um, depending on how much you use it and you're going to apply this to clean skin so this is after you've done your daily moisturize after you've done your daily cleanse for your skin i've already done that i've also did something to my brows and that's the only thing that i have on besides lip gloss so we're going to jump right in i'm going to be using for my primer the becca ever matte poreless priming perfector i absolutely swear by this this is a um primer that is for oily skin and also provides a matte finish um this is going to cover your pores in its entirety <sighs> I think it costs like 38 bucks or something like that but um i've had this for a while now and it's i'm nowhere near being done if you have oily skin or combination oily like me you're going to want to use something like this if you want a matte finish and if you want your makeup to last all day so this is the primer of choice that i'm going to use today and i just like to apply this with my fingers so like I said, I'm going to do it on one side of my face and I will do it on my right, which would be your left. And I'm going to put this all over and definitely in my T-zone area, which is up here, my nose and down here. And the goal is I just want to see how this tinted gel cream lasts with primer and with that primer is it something that's going to make me oily is it something that's not going to make me oily it's something that's going to last just a few hours it's something that's going to last all day that's the whole purpose of this video so i've got that done and i'm going to let that set in in the meantime i'm going to go ahead and start to apply this foundation to the left side of my face which is your right and this is going to be um using i'm going to use this with a brush i'm not going to apply this directly on the brush because i feel like the brush is going to absorb most of the products so i'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and this is the color and it's not runny or anything like that Mm, it definitely feels like a gel. I know it said it was a gel, but it definitely does feel like that. Okay. I'm just going to blend this in. I kind of want to start from the inside of my face.
Okay, this is one layer without the primer and applied with a brush instead of a sponge or a beauty blender. I definitely can still see some of my imperfections like down here while I'm having like a small breakout here and maybe some discoloration on my face. I can definitely see that. That is just one coat. So I am going to do a second layer to see if we can build this coverage up like it says so. And... Okay, and this is the second coat. Okay, so as I'm looking at it, I can definitely see that it has a bit of a glow. Like right here, here, it does have a glow. I do like to use something that is more matte, I guess, like the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, but like I said, we're only testing this out, and this is the um, unprimed side. Very, very lightweight. If I were to see if I could feel if I had makeup on, I cannot feel that feel it doesn't feel like that I do have makeup on. And it looks looks natural. Okay. So now, now we'll try it with a beauty blender and on a primed surface. I'm gonna squirt some more of that on the back of my hand. When you're using a beauty blender and foundation, you do want to like apply it directly onto the skin rather than on the beauty blender. That's my opinion. Um, just because the beauty blender is gonna soak up a lot of that product. This is a damp beauty blender that I'm using. And I'm just going to buff that into my skin using the bottom of my beauty blender. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at to the right of me, that is a mirror so that I can see what I'm doing up close and personal. Okay. I think we've got that good and blended. Okay. So... This is one coat on a prime surface. Still has a bit of a sheer glow to it. And this is supposed to be a foundation that you can wear, like I said, Maybe heavy activity actually, like if you wanted to go out and ride your back, I would imagine that this is something that you want to wear and not look something like in uh, Urban Decay All Night Air Foundation, something that thick. And I keep referencing that one just because it's like my holy grail. So I know what that bad boy does for me. Okay, so this is the complete face. Like I said, the right side is primed and I used it with a beauty blender. The left side is not primed and I used it with a brush. As I'm looking at this foundation, I am noticing that it does have a glow. It is very, 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 very lightweight. Still a little tacky on the left side, the one that I applied with the brush, but not so much on the side that I applied with the Beauty Blender. Also, it is um, a sheer coverage. I, I feel like it could be built up to a medium coverage. This foundation, I believe, retails for about $29, and I picked it up from my local Ulta store um, for $29. Bucks. They had a, I guess, a nice size shade range. Um, this was not the darkest. There was a I think maybe one or two shades that were darker than this. You know, a few more that were way lighter than, than this one. So if you're looking for, I think, you know, it could fit any shade range. And if you're looking for something that's on the cheaper side or like 29 bucks, something that's lightweight, 
something that is not matte, something that does give a glow and that is hydrating to your skin as it says it is, this is going to be something that you may like. It's not bad, actually. Um, Right now, as I'm looking at it, I can see here, and I don't know if you guys can see, um, like the wrinkles in my forehead, there's like one that's always there. Um, I can kind of see that here and here. Like I said, it does have a glow. Can still see a little bit of my breakout right here. But it's something that, like I said, if I wanted to take my two-year-old to the grocery store, I didn't want to, you know, look like I just rolled out of bed, I would throw this on with no issue and run out the door. This is something that is going to be useful for busy moms or somebody who is not into really wearing makeup. Um, and like I said, something that's kind of cheaper in relations to what some foundations cost today like I know some foundations retail for about $40 I'm gonna show you um or, or give you my final thoughts and let you know if I really like the foundation if I don't like the, don't like the foundation would I recommend it to you guys um did I get oily I'm gonna let you know all of that one thing I would like to add is that if I'm going to wear this foundation I would definitely like to apply it with the beauty blender rather than a brush the brush it seems like that it it's not pushing the foundation into my skin it's almost like sitting on top of my skin like i said it's a little bit tacky still um this beauty blender side is not no not tacky feels a little bit mad and it could be the primer on this side too who knows but i really do think that if you're going to get this foundation and apply it you should apply it with a damp beauty blender it works better than the brush for me see you in a little bit Hi guys, I'm back and the time is now 8.13 here. Don't know if you guys can see that, but that means that it has been about four hours and some change um, with me testing this foundation or this tinted hydrating gel cream as they call it by Bare Minerals. Complexion Rescue is the name of this one in specifics. Let's see, okay. This side, my right side and your left, is the side that I used the Becca Matte Primer on. And I applied it also with a beauty blender. Um, I did tell you guys a little bit of a story saying that I was not going to apply any makeup. However, I changed my mind um, just because I noticed that, or I believe that if you have a makeup on top of your foundation that starts to move throughout the day or get a little muddy or starts to wear off that means that you know the foundation is moving um or wear, wearing off so with that being said that is why I applied some blush um and just some eye makeup and I just had on some lip gloss however I have eaten and I was cooking and all that good stuff so, um, my lip gloss kind of wore off, but that's not the point. The point is we're going to talk about what this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream did for me. One thing is it does not claim to last all day. It claims to be a sheer coverage. Um, so being that it's been four hours, I can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell, that I am starting to get a little bit oily. Not so so much on my forehead. I know you guys see that glare, but that is a light on me. Okay, but so I guess my final thoughts would be that this is a type of foundation. Now they're not even calling it a foundation. They're calling it a gel cream. Just something that's going to give you a little bit of color and a sheer coverage. So this is just what it says. It is very sheer. It doesn't last a long time. Like I said, if you were going to be doing um maybe like taking like i said taking your kid to the grocery store or just stepping out to run some errands this may be something for you um but i would not plan on wearing it all day you know or anything like that without having to touch it up and i chose not to use any setting powder or setting spray or anything like that just because i really wanted to see how the foundation was going to last on its own like without anything i think that's the point of doing a first impression or a review of a product. You want to do it just to see how the product is by itself. But it's definitely, definitely not something that I'm not going to count, you know, I'm not going to wear for an eight hour work day or anything like that. 
without setting it. I'm definitely going to try it out, setting it with some spray and setting it with some powder. But, you know, on its own, I would not wear this for more than I've worn it today, which is about four hours. Um, with that being said, those are, that's, I guess that's really the only con that I have. My blush did seem to stay in place. Um, I'm not super oily. Um, I'm sure I can blot, blot my face and it would be okay. I'm not super oily. And I actually do like the product. Um, for $29, I think that you're getting something that is, um, something sheer, something that's good for people who, you know, don't intend on packing their packing on their face with a lot of makeup or you know who people who intend on just running you know here or there and back back home this is going to be the product for you product for you um and I think that it's worth it I think that it's worth it like I said I'm going to do some more testing it out as far as you know applying it with some setting powder some setting spray it didn't transfer or anything like that um so it's it's pretty it, it's a nice lightweight foundation if you're looking for something that's lightweight, if you're looking for something that's affordable, if you're looking for, you know, something that that is marketed by a reputable brand, like their minerals, this is going to be something for you. And it's all natural products, I think. So, again, on a scale of 1 to 10, I gave it an 8 earlier. And I'm still going to give it an 8. Even though that I am a little bit oily, I'm not super oily that it's, you know, like, just uncomfortable for me to wear or anything like that. Or, you know, I'm going to be embarrassed about how my foundation is looking. It, it's just, it's a sheer and lightweight foundation. It's definitely hydrating. It's definitely lightweight. And it's affordable. For $29, you can find this at Ulta. I'm sure you can find it um, at hsn.com. And you probably could find it um, on Bare Minerals' website. And there probably are other places where you could find this. Um... So, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching my video um, that is about the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Tinted Gel Cream. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know I'm just now starting out, but I do want to dedicate my channel to reviews and first impressions like this one that I did for you because I think a lot of people do want to know you know the ins and the outs that's that's my goal here on my channel and if you enjoyed this video like I said give it a thumbs up and I'm going to be returning with more videos like this um and that's that so I will see you guys at a later date thank you for watching she will your closet